What is going on guys, it's Bibs Gaming HD and I'm back with the second video of my new channel and today I've got your squad builder squad builder, sorry um, it's a pretty decent squad, it's gonna uh, cost you around 170k to make in total so not too cheap but it's a, it's a really really good squad anyway so we're gonna jump in and straight away in goal we've got Diego Lopez who's a freaking beast, he's so good like 1.4k he feels like he feels like he's a freaking 100k player he's so so good his stats don't even show him to be that good at diving but in the games he just seems to like there's goalies that have got like 90 diving but he's got 81 and he just seems to get down to every freaking shot like if there's a shot in the bottom bottom right bottom left he just seems to get there and it's crazy really but enough about the goalkeeper anyway we're going to move on we got Pepe, centre back. 3.5k, which shocked me the most about him. At the start of FIFA, I was judging, like, sort of the process at the start of FIFA 13, and Pepe is freaking completely different. Pepe at the start of FIFA 13 was like 20k, I believe, but now he's 3.5k, which is very good for me, because he's a player that I really enjoy playing with, and he's also really affordable, so, which is bonus you know and he's got 74 pace 82 defender and 80 heading and I mean that's great stats for a centre back he just seems to get to every ball that flies up if, if there's a ball there and they um, play a high through ball it just he just intercepts it pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time it feels really ridiculous having him as a centre back but it works really well when he's a brilliant centre back. So we're going to move on. And the left centre back, we've got another amateur player. And we've got Rafael Varane. Um, he's very, very, very good. He's a lot better than his FIFA 13 card. I really did not enjoy playing with that one bit. As the pace lacked a lot. And his defending and heading weren't too great either. So he's got 70 pace, which is sort of feasible now, you know. You want a centre back with 70 plus pace, really, because otherwise they, they feel really sluggish. But you've got 81 defending and 82 heading, which for an 81 rated centre back, that's really, really good. And he feels like he wins a lot of headers from corners. Like, if they cross it, he, he seems to just win the header somehow. And he, I'm not sure how tall he is, actually. He's 6 foot 3. I mean, it's understandable that he's going to win the headers. And he's only 1.9k, which is another great thing. Because he's a good centre back in the league of BBVA and he's French, so he can fit into a lot of squads here, so which is good. And at left back we got another Frenchman from Manchester United. We've got Patrice Evra. I want I thought I'd be disappointed with him as he lacked pace, but lacked pace and dribbling, but not at all. He just he just seems to have great control of the ball and his passing seems very good. He seems to like play a lot of nice balls to our left mid here, but I'm not sure why, to be honest, because he's, he's got, not got great stats, but he, well, he has got pretty good stats, though. I mean, saying he's not got great stats is a bit harsh on his part, but yeah, he's got good stats, actually. So, you know, I mean, for an 82 rated, I mean, the stats aren't brilliant, but they are quite good stats anyway. Enough about the stats, I've babbled on too much about the stats already, so... Uh, right back, we've got Danny Alves, who's a freaking the best right back I've ever used on any FIFA. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to use him on FIFA 13, unluckily, but on this FIFA, he's only 64k, which shocked me quite a bit. On FIFA 13, he held his like 100 plus k price tag for the pretty much the whole duration of the, the game. So, he shooting is not 72. That's all I can say about him. His shooting is definitely not 72, and I. I He's just not 72 shooting. He just feels like he's got like so really, really good shooting. If you give it to him outside the box, he's got to test the keeper every freaking time. He's so good. And his 90 pace catches up with the defence. And he's got four freaking star skills, which is ridiculous considering he's a right back, to be honest. It is pretty ridiculous. 83 dribbling, 81 passing. He's more of a right mid, to be honest. But at right back, I'm not going to complain because he is a very, very good player. And he does seem to get forward a lot because of his work rate. So as you can see, high low, which obviously means he's going to get forward. So, oh, uh, actually, no, we're going to use right mid. We're going to go from left to right. And at left, left mid, we've got Alessandrini. I think he's the lowest rated card in this team. 
Um, he feels very good. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, 91 pace. The only thing that sort of lets him down is his dribbling. If he had 80 something dribbling, I think he'd be a lot better player, but he is very good still. I've got a few clips in the at the end here of him getting some nice goals as well. You got 74 shooting and 75 passing, which is also very good for left mid. And we're going to move on quickly here to centre mid, and we've got Matuidi. Uh, he had an inform last week, I think, but I didn't uh, pick, feel the need to pick him up as his regular card is very, very good anyway. I would have liked to have played him in a CDM role, but in a centre mid role, he, he still fit very nicely and plays very good. He, uh, he did he give me a goal? Yeah, he got me one goal, which will be in the uh, clips at the end. And it was a fairly good goal. <laughs> Wasn't too great, but it was alright. And he got high, high work rates, which is which is good. Anyway, he gets up the pitch, gets back. He's box to box, very box to box player. And 78 pace, 74 dribbling, 83 defending. He got 83 defending, and he's a freaking centre mid. That's amazing, and it's got good passing and good heading so he's pretty much a really good all-rounded card to be honest apart from his shooting which isn't great but he just very all-rounded card and a very nice player to play with at the right centre mid we've got Luka Modric I was very shocked to play, like to discover what I have about him on FIFA 13 I didn't enjoy playing with him one bit he just didn't seem very good but on this FIFA oh my he's like so good he's like one of the best centre mids I think of any FIFA, he like reminds me of Santi Cazorla from last year on FIFA 13. If any of you remember playing with him, he's got like really good dribbling and four-star skills, which is obviously a lot of these players actually have got four-star skills in the attacking, attacking. Wow, well, apart from him, everyone else has got four-star skills, I think. So, which is good. Um, and 86 dribbling, 76 shooting, 76 passing, and no, 76. Pace, 76 pace, sorry, and 86 passing, which is very good. Also, is, you want a good passer in the centre mid, as he's going to be passing to the strikers a lot to set him up for goals. And at right mid, we've got this guy. He is a ridiculous card. He is so good. And he's shooting. His shooting is amazing. Eight, we've got Inform Pedro, um, only 42k, which is so good. He's only 42k. I don't get my head around that. He's like a really good card. I don't see why a lot of people don't like him. But he is really good. 85 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 shooting, 81 passing. Four star weak, five star weak foot, sorry, and four star skill moves. It makes him pretty much the most perfect player I think I've ever seen, to be honest. There's a lot of players with like good defensive, good heading, but he's just so good at going forward. He's probably one of the most perfect going forward cards. Obviously, you've got Ronaldo and all that, but Look, for his price range, he's very—he's probably the best at right mid for his price range anyway. So he is very, very good. Um, at striker, we've got Karim Benzema. He's got one hell of a freaking shot on him. I can say that. Um, 84 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 shooting, 71 passing, and 76 heading. That—they're good stats. I mean, but nothing compares to his shooting. His shooting so good. Look. He can shoot from anywhere outside the box. Similar with Danny Alves, but the shooting is not so powerful. But he can shoot from anywhere outside the box and it just flies in the goal. It's so good. And I bought him for 28k, which I thought was a reasonable price considering he's that good. He got four star skills as well. Following on with the trend of all these players here, four star skills. And the last player of this squad today, we've got Jeremy Menez. I wanted to try him out because he seemed to be the best player that would fit in the chemistry link here. And he did not upset me one bit. He's 1.3k. I, I can't stress this enough. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you go and pick him up. He's 1.3k and he's not going to put you in debt at all. So, And he's really, really good. So um, 86 pace, 74 shooting, 80, 87 dribbling. He's so, he keeps the ball so close to him. He's really, really astounding. So... This is the end of the squad today. Get like, sorry. <laughs> this is the squad today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the first sort of proper video on my channel, apart from the introduction video. And if you enjoy, it, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. And 
don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more FIFA 14 content. So, um, I'm going to sort on off now. I'm going to, well there, is there anything? No, there's nothing more I had to say, sorry. I thought there was something I had to say, but there wasn't, so. Um, it's been Biz Gaming HD, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Couldn't quite spit that out, but yeah. That is really good. A brilliant goal, well taken, brilliant opening. In with a chance. Oh, it's a goal, and they've pulled it Sense. back. You have to say that's great accuracy of the strike because the way he's hit that just under the bar, the keeper had no chance. Well, poor goal. Close range chance. Oh, well, that's the old one, too. So quick, one after Benzema. the other. Modric. Sandrini. Opportunity here. Here's the chance. And that's a brilliant goal. Well taken. And Tweedy. Chance for him. Got to be. And they managed to score here. All credit to these players, Alan, because no one. It's a chance. Shots on here. And it's in for the goal. Kevin Benzema. Keep a surprise, we're surprised too.